the power. It's back. Sup, family? Too Cool TB, represent Powered by Vibes. We're back with another episode of Artist Discovery. So today, we're going to check out a solo music artist who's a producer from Carson City, Nevada, by the name of Kent Tarrock. Apologize if I didn't pronounce that right. Um, and we're going to check out a song right here. This is called Above. So this one is kind of a true first reaction. Yeah, I'm not too familiar with uh, the work of this artist, so I'm excited to check this out. So let's put it on and then I'll give you my thoughts as we're watching it. Pretty sure this is my first time featuring this uh, performer. You will never run to see it if you don't take time to see. You will never know the plan if you don't take time to read. You will never comprehend if you don't take time to think. You will never be the man if you don't take time to be. You will never run to see it if you don't take time to see. You will never know the plan if you don't take time to read. You will never comprehend if you don't take time to think. You will never be the man if you don't take time to be. The body is like floor type intro, like the body is like the flow. Little whisper intro, I like it. Exit the chamber, combustion, Russian velocity, anger, hypocrisy, danger, democracy, law, the sea, liquidity, stupidity, intelligence, rebelling, all the lies are telling. 33 degree felony plus. I won't believe the bullshit you're selling me what? You're living in fear, you wish you had a redo, but you don't, and the future won't be you. A little bit of like a uh, some of the people, some of the times, some of these fools are dumb. And some of these fools are blind Eyes wide open with your mouth tied shut Eyes wide open but you're blind full stuff You will never understand if you don't take time to see You will never know the plan if you don't take time to read You will never comprehend if you don't take time to think You will never be the man if you don't take time to be You will never understand if you don't take time to see okay. You will never know the plan if you don't take time to read I wonder if like the little whispering vocal thing is going to go you through the whole be the man if you don't take time to be, to be, to be. It's also kind of interesting how like the, the instrumental is pretty simple. There's like a droning fire sound in there, like a little bass. It's like simple drums, it's not like a drum loop. sample of somewhere because it just it feels like loading screen music to like a video game from the 90s i don't take that however you want i don't mean i didn't mean anything by it i'm just saying that's my observation <laughs> that whichever way you guys want <laughs> all right so that's the end okay interesting So this song is from 2011. I mean, so not 2000, 2021. At least that's when it was posted. It was posted last year. Let's bring it back to my beautiful face. So yeah, pretty interesting work. So, okay, my first reactions. Let's do that part. <clears throat> I really wasn't fully aware of what to expect. I didn't expect for it to actually be like a rap throughout the entire song like that. You know, that was actually kind of interesting to hear that. That was kind of cool. Like I said, too, like the instrumental was pretty simplistic. It was just a pretty simple little loop. But like for hip hop, a lot of it is based on simple loops like that. So that's fine. Um, I do like the lyricism on here. There's some interesting kind of like lyricism. Like it's almost like political rap. I just realized I say like a lot. I'm going to challenge myself. The rest of this video do not say like. Well, it's hard to not say like if I'm saying it's like something. All right, enough of me getting off topic. Back to the point. So what it sounds like to me is like, <laughs> I just did it. Okay, I give up. It sounds like political rap to me. And I think that is interesting 
because of the fact that you know you have lyrics that are talking about things that are happening in the world it's talking about different little things that you know are thought of like a lot of logical fallacies that people have and like stuff like that of that nature it yeah it's, it's an interesting little piece i like it it's the potential here that's really all I have to say on that one as far as like my first reaction to it. You know, it's it's a pretty simple song. It's not that long and it's really not a lot happening in this particular one. So I don't know what else to say. <laughs> That's all I got. Maybe I don't have to ramble on for 15 minutes in every single song. All right, let's go to my most painful part of the review for me to do and everybody else's favorite. We're gonna go to the critique section of the review. All right, so for the critiques, what I'll critique about it, I know it's a thing that I always go straight for the vocals, but I actually thought the vocals on this were well done, you know, like for the whisper rap. That's tough to execute, but you know, it was everything came through clear. I could hear all the words clearly. I thought the diction sounded good. I thought that the rhythm was good. I didn't really hear anything sound, but there was any timing issues. So yeah, the rap was good. I guess for me, the overall tone of the song and the um, instrumental is what I would critique. Well, it's fine for a song like this to just have it be a very simple loop like that. I felt like sometimes it could get a bit repetitive if you just have a simple loop like that, but the loop doesn't evolve or change at all during the course of the song. So I guess that's what my critique would be. It would be nice if like it changed a little bit during the song like maybe like when it came into the little um chorus section of it and maybe you add one more sound or maybe you drop one sound like maybe maybe sometimes just have the whole thing go completely silent at the end of the chorus and then come back in when you, when it's time for the next verse to start but it's always better usually if it evolves in some way that could have in the intentional way that you have wrote it um which is cool too but just my critiques come from the perspective of if i was producing it and what all of us can learn for our own music that lo-fi sounds of it are cool because I, I i'm assuming that kind of lo-fi sound of how the instrumental sounded was intentional and it could have even possibly been because like i said maybe this is a sample from something so if you uh, come back, come in and watch and check in in the comments below, definitely let me know that. Was this like an original instrumental that you made or was this a sample from something? Cause like I said, to me, it sounds kind of like video game, like loading music from back in the day. Like when you're waiting for the level to load up. So it just it has that type of a sound. I'm just gonna leave it at that for the critique section. So everyone's favorite part of the video. We're gonna rank this one under Powered by Vibes. Build for chart. Let's see where it ranks up against everyone else's work that we've reviewed so far. So, the billboard chart. Disclaimer about the chart. It is not a chart that, ref that reflects the quality of the song. This chart is a list of recommendations that are given out at the end of the year. Make sure you go to thepowerisback.com and check out 2021's top 25 from the chart. The top three from last year were really good. So that's what this chart is for. It's just ranking the popularity I feel like it would have with others. It still is tough for me to rank this one compared to others this year. Only because of the fact that there's only eight other songs thus far. And they're all so different from each other. This is actually is like the first song that sounds like this that I've done this year. So... If I'm being honest, and this is no offense, like I said, because this is just recommendations, I feel like I'm going to leave it at number nine for right now. So you're still in the top 10, and this will move more as there's more songs this year. You'll see your placement go up and down as there's more songs added this year. And rationale for that, for this song, I thought it was pretty good, but I just felt like the songs that are above it they just hit me a little bit harder than this one did, to be honest about it. So that's why I this critique of it. You know, it's just, this one is pretty good, but I would look forward to hear something you do like in 2022. Let's see, you know, the evolution that you've made since this song was released. And I have listened to some of the other songs as well. I usually 
put preference on doing the newest song. So this is just simply a newer one, but I have heard some of your other work as well. You're doing pretty good work. I felt like Gen X, who we did a couple of weeks ago, and that one, it, it got more of a reaction out of me than this one did, because it kind of, there was a little bit more happening in it. Cool. All right, well, let's wrap this video up here. Try to keep these under 15 minutes. All right, guys, so for this section of the review, to Kent, to Rock, if you are listening, or if you're watching, I should say, I would say you're doing a good job. I think this is, you're very creative. I think this is good work. I do hear some potential here, so I definitely would look forward to seeing what else that you come up with and to see how you kind of evolve over time. You know, um, I try to, when I do this artist discovery series, I try to be very positive with it and I try not to, you know, and if there's something that I actually think is bad, I don't feature it. Everything that I feature here is stuff that I think sounds good and is interesting and has some potential. But I do at the same time, I try to be honest about ways that I think it could be improved. So that was kind of where my review was coming from here, you know. To me, I felt like this was, it was a good song. And, but I think that this one, it just has some room for improvements on this particular song. And those were kind of the things that I thought of. It's just, it stylistically, it just could have used a little bit more action in order to keep the listener engaged, in my opinion. But other than that, though, I think, like, as a lyricist, I think you're a good lyricist. I heard some good stuff happening there. And I think this is very creative, how you thought of doing a song that's in this style. So, great work. Keep it up. And, uh, yeah, we'll give, we gave this video a like, and we're going to subscribe to your channel over here at Powered by Vibes, and we'll check out what else that you come up with in the future. All right, so to Kent, to all the Kent to Rock fans, to everyone watching at home, love what you do. I enjoy listening to this song, and I hope that all of you did too. I spread nothing but peace and love to all of you, and I will see you in the next review. The power is back.